So some of the other work that we did kind of zooming in on the differences in morphologies um, of the systems in Victoria came up with this classification. So what we found here is that different uh, sized estuaries um, in kind of like different locations tend to have different opening and closure frequencies and durations. And part of that um, is influenced by the size of the basin. So for our smaller systems that don't have much of a basin or a lagoon, if they have sufficient flow, it tends to just shoot out to the sea, not get stored in the lagoon behind it, and they tend to be open uh, more often. And then on the flip side, with our big uh, system, so Curtis Inlet being a good example with this big uh, basin here, they tend to require more water um, to fill the basin before it breaches. So they tend to be uh, closed for longer durations. Um, but when they open, there's that so much water that it has a lot of power to scour out a big, deep entrance. So they also tend to stay open for longer periods. So size of these estuaries um, and also um, their setting drives the, the differences in entrance condition. So the smaller end of the spectrum here are our little creeks that we get around the Otways and Wilson's Prom. Um, so Kennet River is a good example here. So they tend to be open um, quite a lot of the time unless we have a drought because they're quite sensitive um, to changes in rainfall and river flow. And as they drain these really short, steep catchments, um, that gives them more connectivity to keep the mouths open uh, more often. In the middle, we have the intermediate kind of sized uh, systems here, um, which is what we uh, considered Pankalak Creek um, to be. So when these systems open, um, they would naturally do so a few times a year. Um, they remain open for days to months on average. That can be quite variable. And then they close for weeks to months on average um, as well. And then our larger ones like Curdy's here are kind of the end member um, that are open and closed for longer durations. So there's this link between um, the basin size um, the size of the tidal prism, which is a function of the basin and tidal range, um, and our uh, opening um, behaviour. 